Yo, what's up guys? It is Bumfreeze, back with episode 27 of our Reddit series. This one's gonna be some choosing beggars, and I know you're gonna love this one. We're getting close to that 40,000 subscriber mark, so if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, and thank you to all the recent subscribers. Also, don't forget to get involved, join the Discord server, the link will be in the description. Now sit back, relax, and laugh at some choosing beggars. Are you a tattoo artist looking to practice on cover-ups? Think you can get a great job and need pics for your portfolio? I have one tat that needs redoing. PM me for info. This is for folks that need practice and are actually decent. No scrubs or beginners, just solid artists that need practice. Text me. My husband and I both do tattoos, cheap, needing practice always. I love cover-ups. I'm not paying. This is a chance for folks to practice. This kind of attitude is probably the reason that he needs a cover-up in the first place. If I was a tattoo artist, I'd be all for this. I'd take the job offer and then I would just completely ruin the dude's tattoo. When he no doubt complains, I'd be like, oh sorry, I thought you said it was just practice. Hi, I saw your post on Twitter of this person's hair and it's really pretty. How much is it to do something similar for me? Oh hey, it costs 120 pounds and that includes the cost of my trip to your place. That's pretty much. Can I pay 50 pounds though? Um, no. 50 pounds is too low. I can do it for 100 pounds though, just because my friend referred you and she says you're one of her friends. Can I pay 55 pounds? I'll tag you on IG and I have over 10k followers, so you'll get great exposure. Still no. 100 pounds is as low as I'll go unfortunately. But she said you did her hair for free. I'm just asking for a discount. Why are you being such a bitch? All you're doing is making the hair. Um, she is my sister and she does my nails for free so I don't charge her either. Also, this is literally the cheapest you'll find someone making hair around here so take it or leave it. Come on, I've got tons of followers and you should be doing it for free cause I bring you a lot of clients but I'm giving you 55 pounds. Be grateful and accept it. That's a hard pass mate. Okay, fine. I'm gonna do this instead. Should be like 45 pounds, yeah? Girl, first of all, that is way more complex than her hair and you're offering less. The absolute least I would do this hair for is 150 pounds. And to be honest, I wouldn't do it for that price for you because I don't like your tone. Oh, F off. I was only trying to help you because you look broke anyway. I shouldn't even be paying anything because I'm really popular and so many people would love to do my hair. The braids were absolute trash anyway. I just wanted something cheap to carry for a bit. Lol, okay. Keep that same energy when I see you at the birthday party on Saturday. Hey, sorry about yesterday. I was having a bad day and I took it out on you. Hello? It's fine. So can you still do the hair? For 150 pounds, I can. How about for 60 pounds? For 60, I cannot. Oh, come on. 60 pounds is great. I'm not being cheap or anything, but it's a great deal for you. I'll recommend you to all my friends if you do it. Actually, you should totally be paying me for the PR I'm gonna give you. You did not just ask me to take a one hour train to you, do your hair for eight hours, then take another train back and do all of this for less than minimum wage, plus pay you for PR. Do you actually hear yourself think? Would you charge Kim Kardashian 150 pounds? Huh? If you were gonna do Kim's hair, knowing how much exposure she could give you, would you charge her 150 pounds too? Bitch, are you Kim Kardashian, LMFAO? Well, you just lost a whole lot of customers that I would have brought in if you made my hair. I definitely don't want any cheap ass customers you'd have brought to me, so I basically just dodged a bullet. Don't text me again, stingy effing lady. You already making enough money. It's not like you effing spend it on yourself considering how you dress. I'm just asking for a little effing discount, but you're too entitled to give it. I hope someone does this to you when you're broke. Sorry for the long one, but that was a ride and a half. This has nearly 12,000 upvotes on Reddit and I just had to include it. This one was a next level exposure choosing beggar and to compare yourself to Kim Kardashian is just laughable. Heck, I would do a month's worth of work for Kim Kardashian if it meant she was gonna give me some kind of shout out. But unfortunately, 10,000 followers on Instagram isn't gonna cut it. I'm looking to buy sports card collection baseball, football, basketball, and non-sports cards. I do not want these years unless they're autographed. 1989 through to 1996 and any year of Jordan. I will not pay book value, not even close. Please don't tell me this is what they're selling for on the internet. If that's the case, why don't you go and sell them on the internet? 
I mostly want autographs, some jersey cards, and I would like it to be a collection of cards, not just one or two cards. Thanks for your time and for reading this. I'm sorry, but what on earth does this guy think that Facebook is? To reach out on the internet, say, I'm not going to pay the price that you can get on the internet, why don't you go on the internet? It's literally got me more lost than the choosing beggars themselves. If anyone could do me a huge favor and put in the comments what on earth this guy is talking about, that would be great. Free rent to an attractive female. Offering free rent to an attractive female who will do housekeeping and provide personal services 24 seven. I also have a nice vacation slash trip upcoming as well. Must provide pictures and some details about yourself in your response. Is it just me or does this sound like this guy's asking for a sex slave? If it's just me, I'm sorry, but this sounds hella creepy either way. Hey, I was just wondering if you could shout me out, please. I'm a channel trying to grow and I really need your help. Thanks. Okay then, $15 for a shout out. Can it be five bucks? No, you have 1500 plus followers, more than me actually. And I also don't like doing shout outs, so it's $15 or nothing. Okay, wow, you're a jackass and you probably don't even have a girlfriend. I don't need your dumbass followers anyways. Okay buddy, whatever you say. What I don't get with this one is why he's reaching out to someone with less followers than him for a shout out. This would be like me reaching out to someone with 15 subscribers on YouTube and being like, hey, oh my gosh, can you please give me a shout out? I'm desperate. It just doesn't make any sense, but I guess nothing's off limits for a choosing beggar. You think it'll fit a Honda Shadow? My offer, if it did, would be 50 bucks. Let me know what you think. It should, but $50 is a ridiculous offer. I don't think so. It's just a seat that people sit on. Just a seat. Okay, well, good luck with selling a seat you'll probably never use. Then go find a brand new motorcycle seat for $50 somewhere else and enjoy just sitting on it. This is one of my favorite traits about choosing beggars where they try and devalue the item by making it seem like it's not worth as much as it actually is. Oh, it's only a 4K TV, it's not Ultra HD, so you should give it to me for free. Like, your logic doesn't make any sense. But hey, at least they're not offering exposure for it. Hi. I'm Megan and I desperately need a place to stay. I'm outside right now. I'll take anything you have. I'll take everything you have. I'll take anything your friends have for me too. Please help me. You won't regret it. Text only. I'm not going to sit around and answer emails. Text only. If you're stupid, let me repeat that. Text only. I'm not going to sit around and answer emails. Text only only. So you're automatically stupid if you email. I'm very grateful to weed out the stupid people. To the rest of you, sorry you had to read that. But some people are really stupid. Hey, so I'm desperate and I really need a place to stay, but I'll only take everything that you've got if you text it to me, not if you email it to me. I'm pretty sure if you were that desperate, you'd accept a handwritten letter delivered by a monkey 15 suburbs away just so you could get the information you were after. Clearly, you're not really that desperate for anything. Looking for a flexible part-time medical assistant in our satellite Medispa. High school diploma or GED required. Must be certified MA. Must be fluent in Spanish and experience preferred but not necessary. Responsibilities include but are not limited to escorting patients to exam rooms and performing vital scans, taking patient histories and recording in EMR, drawing blood and assisting in post-op care. Candidate must have strong communication and computer skills. Must be organized, multitask oriented, energetic, possess a positive and professional attitude. Serious inquiries only. So for a normal job ad, you probably wouldn't think too much of this, but when you realize they're not offering any pay to this person, you think this is probably one of the biggest choosing beggars you've ever come across. Nothing about this job ad to me looks like something you shouldn't be getting paid for. You are doing a proper medical assistant job and they're not offering a cent. Who knows though, some idiot's probably gonna take this and say, or oh, at least I got the exposure. All right, everyone, that is that for today's video. I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. In the Discord server, we were having a bit of a conversation around what I should do for 50K and a couple of us were thinking that I might do a live stream and a face reveal type thing in one. I really like the idea and I think it'll be a really good opportunity for me to interact with you guys on a different way. It'll give you guys the chance to ask me questions, we can interact back and forth and I just think it'll be a lot of fun. But otherwise, if you haven't already, don't forget to join the Discord server. It is a lot of fun and I love talking to you guys on there. I'm on there pretty much every night when I upload the videos. So if you join that, you'll get a good chance to have a chat with me. 
But yeah, that does just about wrap things up from me. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you for all the support recently. Like I said at the start of the video, we're only about a thousand subscribers away from 40,000 and that is amazing. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I'll see you all tomorrow for some more Entitled Parents. Bye.